Hi, everybody. Quint Lears with NewHomesales.com. I'm here at the International Builder Show. It's been a crazy show. Hey, look, how's the show been for you guys? I think it's been wonderful. There's a lot of people at the show this year, and it's been exciting. Yeah, I would say the same thing. You know, a lot of uh, excitement about uh, kind of the home technology trends and just kind of the uh, new stuff that's coming and where things are evolving in the home building community. So I'm with Peter Cook and Ryan Hurd. So look, we have a lot of people interested in technology um, in the home. Um, and, and CEDIA is kind of like, you know, the home builder organization to home building, but CEDIA is to the technology. Talk about what is CEDIA. Yeah, so CEDIA is a, stands for Custom Electronics Design and Installation Association. And so it's about having home technology professionals as a resource to the building community to help them be able to put all of these smart devices that are coming out on the market today and the wild, wild west of the Internet of Things and not understanding how to get them onto the network, how to get them to work together, how to customize them for the client's lifestyle, how we can get it to one app versus a hundred apps, and how to kind of make it uh, so that it's secure and safe and is really working with their lifestyle. No, it's kind of reminds me of the home building industry. It used to be like anybody with a wrench could work on the truck, you know, but now, I mean, it's the homes are becoming smarter and smarter, and you, you are the experts that are helping homeowners. Tell me about some of the trends that you see with technology in the home. Well, you see, when you talk about smart technology, usually it's started by the smart door lock, and then it goes into smart lighting or safety and security. So those are the big things, but it also depends on generation. So millennials, uh, they are a tap and swipe. So the way that they look at technology is a little bit different. Think uh, what Amazon is doing. So Amazon has this program out that you can have a door lock and you can open up the door and Amazon employee can actually put the package inside your house. As opposed to baby boomers, where baby boomers will use technology a little bit different. They're a little technology adverse. So they're not going to let somebody put a package inside their house, but they will use technology to make it easier to turn on the TV and whatnot. So it's all the application of smart technology to the home relative to whatever generation you're in. Thanks. Peter, what's your biggest thing? What are customers saying, hey, I want this in my home? What's selling right now? I would say probably the biggest thing that people are doing, they're very interested in voice. You know, that's something that's uh, intuitive for them. And so uh, voice control is a big thing. And we've got a number of options from obviously the big boys that are out there that are kind of pressing things to some great companies like a company by the name of Josh AI that is actually designed specifically for the home market. And if you look at the origins of Amazon, who are they? They're a sales product manufacturer, right? And they're wanting to get into your home so they can sell you more product. You look at Google, they are a data-driven company, right? And they are a marketing company, and they want to know all about your trends and ideas. And, and it's amazing how you ask a question, and then all of a sudden you're looking on the Internet, and next thing all these ads are popping up. It's kind of scary and a little freaky. Well, there's other companies out there, though, that use voice and want to make it as great as possible for you to control all the smart systems in your house. And it's only designed to make that easy so that you can walk into the room and you can make that happen. That's one big thing. Uh, smart shading. Uh, integrating the uh, doors and, and locks, but also I think lighting control is probably our most popular, and that's one thing that is really, really easy. And once people have lighting control, they never go back. Once you've experienced what lighting control is, it's, I never heard a client say, I wish we would never have done this. It's a great system, and that's a really popular option. And then obviously automated door locks is, is a big thing. It's like, you know, Steve Jobs had the vision of you know, a remote, your phone is not just a phone, it's your life remote control, and you're the one making it happen. Yeah, and I was just going to say, the other big things is consuming music and, and media, you know, so Netflix and all of those types of streaming video services, and then all the music sources, and just finding people that love music and rediscover that love for music, and now they can put it in anywhere in their house, whether they have a small house, a big house, whether it's new construction, or whether it's retrofit, we have options for them, and that's what's really exciting, is that we love music and technology, and to see people kind of not think about technology, but just enjoy what it does for them is really slick, and then just to see them rediscover their love for music, music and set that ambiance in the in the house that now you can come home and you had a rough day and you can get really relax if you want something you're having a party and you really want to jam it up a little bit and get everybody excited about being there you can do that so we we love the fun and the experience that you get from having a truly smart home so I want to go back to the CEDIA, and it's an organization, I guess, where you train encourage you know motivate each other have different things what what um how what I mean? How long has CEDIA been going on, and what are some of the goals of the of their organization? 
Yeah, so they've been around since the early 80s, and so they've been around now here for over 30 years. They're a global trade organization now, so we've expanded into Europe, into the Middle East and Asia, and it's all about training people right and helping them understand the networks and all these complex technologies because when you think about a smart house, there's the network, there is the internet, there's the cloud, there's the HVAC system, the lighting system, the garage, the security, there's the AV, there's all these different subsystems and they all have to be able to talk and work together and make it an enjoyable experience. So that's some of the things that we do is we train the people so that we can be certified and then they have learning credits just like architects and builders and interior designers, any uh, you know accredited company Company, any accredited professional is going to need to be able to keep up with it, and us obviously in particular because technology is moving so fast. Well, look, as technologists, uh, you 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 know you must just be like happy as a kid in a candy store with you know what's happening in the world today because things are you know actually all the things we talked about as little kids now it's like oh my gosh it's actually happening. What's the biggest surprise and trend that you're just like yes? Well, I think the two most interesting parts of the smart technology or smart home technology is, number one, aging in place. In other words, you know, you want to keep an eye on mom or dad or Uncle Bob or whatnot and using smart technology to make sure that they're okay. The other amazing trend that's going to be coming out is bathrooms. Because think about it like this. The smart technology in the bathroom, that is the place where you're, you're most intimate, right? I mean, you can use the technology, you can stand in front of the mirror as you're getting ready for work. It can take a picture of you every single day. So think about that. Over many, many days, it could see the way your skin is. It could look at you and say, you might have an issue with skin. You know, you apply that technology in other ways, and uh, let's say you're on the toilet, and it's uh, analyzing the data coming out of you. So think about that time and time again. Since we're a very lifestyle-oriented uh, uh, country now, you think about Fitbits and Apple Watches and whatnot. Apply that, collecting that data in your most uh, intimate area because the bathroom is the only place where you can be truly honest with yourself. And think of that, collecting that data day over day over day. And it can say, hey, you know, I see something on your skin there. You might want to get it checked out. Or, you know, you might want to uh, check your weight. Or maybe there's this. So you just, you just blew my mind. I had no idea that that was um, even something that's even in the horizon. Now, look, quick disclosure, newhomesales.com does not... Uh, render legal or investment advice but sort of what are some companies that are like yes that you see that are doing big things well uh, let's say there's companies like Luxone I think they do great work they're an automation company they manufacture the product they're very forward-thinking for example uh, when you go into a bathroom right a traditional bathroom has a light has a fan has switches for it a bathroom a toilet and a shower do you really need to turn on the light when you walk into the bathroom? It should just go on. If you take a shower for five minutes or 55 minutes, the fan should stay on until humidity goes down to a certain level, regardless of how long you've been in there. They do it well. So Luxon is a great. Josh AI, I'm a big proponent of Josh AI. You know, it's voice technology like Amazon, Alexa, as well as Google, but they're natural linguistics. You don't have to work differently or talk differently. It is one of my favorite companies out there. What do you think? Yeah, I would say the same thing. You know, there's just a, a lot of things that are getting easier, more reliable, more connected. And so getting the companies now talking together, I think that's the biggest thing, is that we can now customize the experience for whether you're young or not so young, whether you are a technique khaki kind of guy or you're kind of that um, technically, what's the word you use? Adverse is, is not your favorite thing to do, but you recognize technology is just continuing to grow and we can kind of customize the experience for them. And that's really what we're excited about is we're getting more and more tools to make that a better and better experience for our clients. And that's ultimately what we're looking for. How do we connect with you? And I, you know, it says Cedia Volunteer, um, but you have your own company that you're doing things. Uh, give us a shout out. How do we connect with what you're doing? Yeah, give us a shout. Uh, I'm Automation Design and Entertainment. We're in Kalamazoo, Michigan, www.automation-design.com. And send me an email at peter at automation-design.com, and I'd be glad to help out and assist anybody wherever they might be in the upper Midwest. Absolutely. So my name is Ryan Hurd. The company I own is One Sound Choice. We're located in northern New Jersey, so we take care of the tri-state area. I'm also the author of uh, the book, Join the Smart Home Revolution, which is the best book, Amazon's number one smart home book right now. And it's all about taking the smart technology and really talking about it in a way that everybody can understand it. Real language instead of techie and geek. So how it, what smart home is and how it can help you in the kitchen or bathroom or bedroom or whatnot. So. 
You guys are the, you know, on the front lines. I got to throw this question out. Um, cryptocurrency, man. You're going to have these homes. Is is it? Uh, is this the real thing? What, what's your you placing a bet on it? What's 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 happening with crypto? Uh, you know, that's an alternate for, form of currency. I think that would be good. Uh, I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting to see how it affects us. Yeah. Peter, you got any ideas about that? <laughs> no, I'm just going to say with technology, one of the things I've learned after 26 years of being in this business is there's some things you can do, but you shouldn't do. And there's things that you can mess with, and there's some things you should not mess with. And I've also learned that there's things when I know, and there's things I don't know. And if I don't know it, don't say anything about it. I actually it. appreciate that. Now, look, Peter. How do we connect with Cedia and check out what they're doing as an organization? Yeah, so their website is cedia.org. And what's great is up in the right-hand corner, there's a Find a Pro uh, a little function that they can uh, highlight on and click on. And it will tell them you put in your zip code and it will show you kind of who is a professional in your area and allow them to kind of get connected up with some options for them. And then they can interview the person and really see who they mesh with and who has that knowledge and expertise to really help them make a great smart home in their own, uh, in their own home. And I always like to ask, who are some people that have been inspirational in your life, some resources, podcasts, anything that, that you tap into? I mean, you're an author, a thought leader, speaker, um, anybody that has, it could be anything. I mean, it doesn't even have to be industry specific, something that, that, that's you're positive. Well, for me, I'm a big Disney guy. And of course, we're here in Orlando, so it's great. But Walt Disney is a phenomenal uh, person in my eyes. The way that he thinks outside of the box, the way that he created stories, the way he applied that from film to the real world with the parks is just absolutely amazing. And then even to the point of today, think about it. Right now, there are 75,000 people working in uh, Walt Disney World. And it's amazing how day in and day out, everybody's got a great attitude, things run smoothly, and everything gets done. So that's amazing. What about you? You know, I've had this question many times over the years, and, and one of the ones that have really kind of stood out to me is the person I look up to the most in this world that's kind of inspired me the most is probably Jesus. And, and I just think that he doesn't get enough credit to be the greatest leader that's ever been on the face of this earth. And so he inspires me, and that's what I try to, to live and emulate. And so he's my greatest thought leader. Hey, listen, well, Peter, yeah, like, um, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate you being on the program, the encouragement. Thanks for speaking and volunteering out no here. Looking forward. Keep in touch with these guys. Check out Cedia.org, Peter Cook, Ryan Hurd. Thanks for being on NewHomeSales.com at the International Builder Show 2018 in Orlando, Florida.